Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar taking an in depth look at Adobe Media Encoder, the Creative Cloud Edition. In this excerpt, I want to show you how you can crop and reframe images as well as create short test movies. We have two different windows here. We've got a source tab and an output tab. The source tab allows me to crop the source. And I'm going to go down here with the playhead and slide it. And let's just take a look at that fearsome Chinese dragon. I mean, is that enough just to, whew, I'm going to have a sleepless night. Except this is a 4 by 3 image. I would like to make it 16 by 9. So I'm going to turn on crop by clicking the crop button and you see the white box around here. Go to none, change the format to 16 by 9. It automatically creates a 16 by 9 shape. I can now grab this white rectangle and drag it up and down to determine exactly what part of the image I want to be cropped as 16 by 9. You can dial in the specific numbers you want. In this case, I want the left to be 0 and the right to be 0 because I don't want to shoot off the edge of the frame here. So this turns on cropping. This allows me to dial in specific crop numbers or specific crop ratios. And then by grabbing up and down, I can make sure that the image is properly framed for the crop setting I want. Let's say I only want to output a little bit of this. I'm going to pick this shot right here, type the letter I to set an in, and type the letter O as he drops out of the frame and comes back again, and just before he looms up, and set an out. There's two reasons why you might want to export just a small piece of the movie. Let's say you want to test your settings and make sure your settings look good. Creating a test movie allows you to just spend a few seconds compressing because the hardest part of any movie to compress is the part that has movement. If I can get movement to look good, then I can get everything else to look good. So here I want to just take a quick look at him dropping out of frame and coming back and make sure I don't have any strange artifacting because my bitrate is set too low. Once I'm happy, change the source range to the entire clip. It resets the in and the out to the entire piece. So I've got cropping control so I can take just a portion of the frame and I have the ability to export just a range by setting an in the letter I and setting an out the letter O and resetting by going back to the entire clip. We could also set an in by clicking this button and we could set an out by clicking that button but whew, I and O is faster and besides we're all used to using it so we'll just use that. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking an in-depth look at Adobe Media Encoder. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 107. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.